All this week, we're tackling one of the big issues Detroiters want fixed, blight. And we're getting some stuff done here. It is no secret Detroit is plagued by illegal dumping. It's a common sight to find vacant lots piled high with trash, old appliances, even boats. Yeah, boats. But we found something that surprised even us. In fact, officials from the city were shocked when we showed them this problem. Abandoned homes stuffed to the rafters with discarded tires. Abandoned tires piled high next to abandoned homes. Unfortunately, that's not news these days in Detroit. See this massive pile of tires outside? This is just the tip of the iceberg. You ought to see what's inside. This is news. More tires, thousands of them, packed into abandoned homes, floor to ceiling, wall to wall, upstairs, downstairs. James Carter tells me a dozen houses up and down the street are just like this one. Hidden dumping grounds for discarded tires. The fire department couldn't even make it downstairs if they had to. So literally these tires are stuffed all the way downstairs? All the way downstairs. All the way to the top. And you won't believe who's dumping them here. So have you seen people dumping these? Yes. So who are they? Uh, local tire shops. Like I said, they don't want to pay. They got to pay for each tire to get rid of. They'd rather just dump that and keep the money in their pocket, or they hire people off the street to dump it for them. Local tire shops. And as you can see, neighbors are trying to keep up with the flood of useless rubber, hauling tires back out to the curb one at a time. So you've actually started pulling some of these out of the garage? Yes, as you see in some in the front yard, right. but it's, it's, it's too many of them. And the city will only haul away four tires per house on bulk pickup day. Clearly, it's a losing battle. Beyond the obvious eyesore, neighbors here are worried about the danger if a fire breaks out. These piles could burn for weeks. So you've tried calling the city? Yes, we tried calling the city. We ain't getting no answer. Well, maybe Channel 7 can help James ask again. Maybe this time they'll hear him. Mayor Duggan, can you get us some dumpsters, trash bag rakes? We can clean up all the houses that you see that's abandoned, got junk in them and make the city look good. It's absolutely shocking to see that someone would actually go into these houses and just dump tires, almost like they're just kind of hiding them. Guess what? This time the city heard the complaints. City spokeswoman Alexis Wiley met me in the neighborhood, climbed over the mountain of tires, and was shocked as I was to see what was hiding inside these homes. Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, this is... Thank you so much for calling. So there's no question now the city knows what's going on behind these walls. The question is, what are they going to do about it? As much we can get out to the curb, we're going to get it picked up. And we're going to have crews, a contractor, actually come along and start picking up the tires that are out here. And inside the house, we got to come up with a good solution for that. Well, we're happy to report a whole lot has happened since yesterday when we talked to the city. Ronnie Dahl is live on Maple Ridge near Chalmers, right? It looks like that city spokeswoman started burning up the phone lines after we showed her that mess yesterday, Ronnie. Yes, we're getting some action out here, uh, Stephen. You know, when you set a lot of tires, thousands of tires, take a look at this pile. Now that they are all out of the houses and in the roadway on the curbside, I have to tell you, I've never seen anything like this, but a lot of effort was made today. One by one, volunteers rode each of these tires out to the curbside from these homes. And what's going to happen now? Well, the city's going to be coming by to pick them up. That's just part of this, but it took volunteers, about 25 from area churches and community groups, coming together to at least get this process started. It's a shame that the residents of the community or those in the community feel like our community is a dumping ground, but I would say that because our community is a blessed community, we have people who are willing to eliminate the blight and to revive those things that other people don't see worth reviving. Pastor Gaddy, such a great person for this community here in District 4, really helping out a lot. Now, there is still so much work to be done because we are across the street now. You can see there are still tires piled inside that home. They're on the second floor. They are in between the homes. And so starting this weekend, Detroit Public Works crews are going to be out here picking them up. For now, we are live on Detroit's east side. Back to you. And I was out there yesterday, Ronnie, and three blocks up the street, there are more houses filled with tires. By the way, a shout out to Odell Tate. He's the District 4 manager. Yesterday when the city got on the phone, they called uh, Odell, and he's got those people rolling. And that's what it takes. It takes a village. And in this particular case, the, the people there were willing to clean it up themselves, but the problem is they had no place to put the tires.
Well, hopefully, like like Alexis Wiley said, the city will come out there, collect them yeah, up, cut them up, get rid of them, get rid of the Next light. step, we've got to catch you guys doing it. So if anybody sees or knows what's going on there, give us a call. We'll keep your identity a secret.